Hi, this is S. Bridges Matthew. I'm calling. I'm calling. I am not calling. I'm doing this web quest for Open Teacher um, Teacher Training org. It is a <clears throat> organization by a Tool E Teacher Tool, and it's to certify me as a professional distance education teacher. Wonderful instructor. So what I'm doing right now is what we call Evaluate 1.1.2 Quality Feedback Quest. And um, basically, this quest talks about, um, I have a blog, I'm a blogger of course, and it says provide student work sample and accompanying feedback that showcases some of the expectations listed above in our quest. Um, they gave an example of turnitin.com. So basically, in this example, I had to get a student work sample which luckily I had a lot on my email, <laughs> the essays that, that uh, my students sent me. So I was able to pull one of my students' essay from my email. And I, you know, for the sake of not showing my student's name, I, you know, just already have it kind of embedded in my blog here. And I'm in the process of making my post. As you can see, I've already written my narrative and did a, like a screenshot of the essay and how, this is how it looks. I just wanted to show you the process of what I do. So if, if a student emails me an essay, I just take it and I copy and paste. Okay. Control. I right click and then copy. Then I'm going to go to paperrater.com. So let me just type it back into the URL. And it's already pretty much saved in my thing. So paperrater.com is a free uh, grammar and spell check and a free online proof reading, proof reading um, website. No downloads are required. So just click here and you say use now free. Okay, so I'll scroll down and I just control V and I copy my student's information here. Like I said, I don't have any of her names. You know, these are all the narrative is made up. So I'll just say narrative. Essay, you know, it's no real name for it. she didn't really name it. There's no work cited, cited because it's a uh, narrative, and the grade level is seven. Now, I do teach English as a second language or e English to speakers of other languages, and my students aren't a typical Latin based alphabet languages, they come from you know, Burma and Nepal and Sri Lanka and Afghanistan and so many different countries. I, I teach the world and God, God knew that I wanted to change the world, so he brought me to a school that teaches everybody from the world. It, it, so it's, it's, a, it's a very unique experience for me. So I hit short story because it is a, a narrative. It's not a personal narrative. It's about someone. And then I'll type in the little code. And this is, I guess, they're just trying to make sure that I'm not a robot or anything, So which I'm not. <laughs> Some people think I am because I seem like I work and I don't sleep, but no, I'm just, I'm, a, I'm just a nerd and I love being a nerd. And then it took me 37 years to say that. Well, 36. <laughs> All right. And I just hit click get report. And you just wait, you know, this is just wait for it to come up. Just checking the grammar. And like I said, I've already went through this process prior to uh, recording this video. I just thought it would be smart to take you through the steps of what this is, how efficient this is. Of course, you're going to want to read over it and, you know, do your own analysis. But this one is very detailed and it saves your hands from having to do a lot of work. And and what I do, I like to do on top of written feedback, I like to give video feedback. You notice... If you looked at my blog, I have a lot of videos and I have a lot of audio. They love hearing my voice, which I sound like a baby, if you ask me. I don't sound like I'm 37. But, um, yeah. So here, here's how it looks. So this looks like, see how it kicked out the information. Um, everything that's pretty much uh, in red is not good. So it'll go specifically through it. The paper doesn't have a title. The last word of the title should be capitalized. So it gives you those specific things. You know, it takes you back to like a mini lesson if you will and then you can just hit next and it'll go through pretty much everything in detail spelling suggestions corrections for the spelling grammar selections underlining green 
So it just keeps going and going and going like an energizer button, net bunny. And you can also print it. So this is an example of a completed. I mean, it, you see all these corrections. Most of them were spelling. Then she had a few uh, grammar corrections, and then some things were you know positive. And then it gave you some examples of uh, prepositions and conjunctions, adverbs, just different things. So. Um, this is a really good example that you might want to use in your classroom, um, and it's free. And knowing teachers, we are people are always trying to sell us stuff, and it's like that's why we don't make any money because we're always trying to find ways to leverage our time and, you know, help all the different types of kids we have. Even if you have, you know, a room full of refugees like I do, everybody's on a different level, so we just always have to find a way to reach our students. I hope you enjoyed this web quest. Have a wonderful day. This is S. Bridges Matthew, Shackles Off My Learning, and uh, shacklesoffmythoughts.com, or you can, go to, you can visit me on the line at unshackledlearning.com. Have a wonderful day.